yesterday, champions for 2015 in the East Coast Bull Bars Australian Championship. They'll be having fun today on our final day of the series. Attention now turns to the National Four Wheel Drive Series between Marcus Walkham and Mick Patton, because of course Side by Sides was taken out by Cody Crocker and Greg Folletta in the Polaris, and Classics was tied up at Coffs Harbour by Clay Badnock and Andrew Dunbar. So, full day's worth of racing. Let's go and see how they've all gone. We used our tyre bank yesterday, so I think we've got um, just belts hanging off. I think it's front right and the front left's not much better, so you know, that was a little bit challenging. I made a few suspension changes in there from last night, some big ones, so it was hard to tell whether it was better or not because the tyres blew off. So. There we go, well six seconds faster, the stage is getting faster and the last sort of three or four K I just had to conserve because I could hear clang, 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 clang of rubber blowing off the tyres, so I'm happy that we're faster. All the second-hand tyres all uh, diminishing very rapidly, but uh, a couple of really, really big jumps in there that, uh, yeah, we didn't realise we are going that probably 10 or 15 k's quicker over, but uh, old girl landed really well and off we went, so it was all good. Slight amount of damage to the front edge of the sump guard and the, uh, the bumper in there. That's probably through those jumps, you reckon? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, well and truly. Marcus, looks like maybe five quicker than Patton in there. A nice start to the, uh, to the last day. Yeah, I'd... Um, that was a great day, great stage to start the day on. Um, I really enjoy that stage. It's really fast and flowing and um, easy to get into a groove. So, um, yeah, just um, got in there and got stuck into it. And, yeah, happy with that time. Most people have spoken about how managing tyres now in these hot conditions, so this was the stage you were going to compromise on. Yeah, exactly. So we'll, we'll be able to go with four new ones into the next loop and hopefully put some good times in, maybe get a couple of stage wins, but I'm um, happy with the time. We're only losing six seconds to walk in the loop, so happy enough with that. Good man. Keep on fighting. You have to give the, the ladies over there a wave. Big fans of yours. Give them a toot and a wave. Big Harry Bates fan. <laughs> Did you see Mackenzie in there somewhere? Yeah, we did after a, um, a pretty decent jump, but I'm not sure what's happened. I, I really don't. Um, other than I think his car puts its power down a lot better than ours, and he might have been going a fair bit quicker. And um, it looks like he's um, just arrived at the next corner too quick, and then he's tried to take a cut to try and sort of give himself a bit more room on the exit. And there's some um, pine poles or something in there, and I don't know what, quite exactly what's going on. But Dirty bits of pair of skid marks, that's for sure. Okay. They're okay anyway, yeah, yeah, but they're yeah. off, and I'd say there's damage. Your car sounded horrendous yesterday, but did you did you do enough to wrap up your state championship? Yeah, we oh, did. Well, it's right, fantastic. Well, that's awesome. So today's Thanks, all about uh, yeah, yeah. trying to get this thing home. I mean, everyone's uh, rooting for you. Know these <laughs> officials here have said you've been yeah. doing a fabulous job. So, uh, right. mate, congratulations on the title and try and get this thing home and have a have a drink tonight. Yeah. Thank you.